Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Sean here. And today we're going to take a look at how to build an Eldar army. Let's head on over to the Games Workshop site, go to the 40k section. Yes, there it is. All right, Eldar are my favorite army for 40k easily. They were my first army back in 1997. A couple friends of mine came by for a role-playing game we were doing every week and they had some white dwarf magazines because they played space marines and orcs and I quickly became enamored of the Eldar and bought 56 metal uh, like aspect warriors and other things for uh, I think it was $75 and that's how all this pro all this nonsense started so we're gonna go to the Eldar section post it to all items per page and this is gonna come in three parts uh, I'm gonna do a, a beginners Eldar army to start out with and then work my way up to what I'd consider to be the most any human could possibly ever want or need and uh, to a mega army and some people actually own armies this large 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 points and they're usually collected over years but at Blue Table Painting we could conceivably order all the models, do all the assembly and do all the painting of a really really enormous army and if you go to blue table painting on YouTube you can see many of these that we've done over the years so let's get going uh, for starters jet bikes currently only cost 17 points each so they cost about the same as a single space marine infantry in terms of point cost so if I were starting an army I would start with wind riders so let's go ahead and open these guys up and wind riders are really the core of the army and they you know it, it makes you, you know you guys should all do a shot every time I say you know and I think I've done it at least three times in the last 10 seconds so let's go ahead and get a farseer skyrunner as well we're gonna take a look at these in just a second all right wind runners this the new models are amazing the Eldar jet bikes had not had an upgrade for so many years it was really really pretty sad actually and let's see if this will load there we go so the new ones look amazing the new rules allow you to take different guns on the bottom before it was only one and three could upgrade to a shuriken cannon which of course you would do and the 12 inch range on the twin link shuriken catapults really made them not as effective they were still good don't don't get me wrong but now i mean look at how handsome this figure is it's just so delicious so you can put scatter lasers now something we can do at btp if you have us do your army is so we can magnetize these underslung weapons but quite frankly I wouldn't magnetize all four of them I would really just uh, <clears throat> magnetize the shuriken uh, excuse me the scatter laser and maybe one other thing however you also can do magnetization of just one thing so in case later you change your mind you can go ahead and just add those other other things so great model for if you were just getting into the game I would get uh, four kits of them so let's add and that would give us 12 for a mid-range army I would go with 18 I never ran more than 18 bikes and I came up against some pretty great opponents up at Valhalla so and and it worked now the Farseer Skyrunner kit now this has an unusual background because a company called Chapter House made an Eldar jet bike guy and Games Workshop sued them on copyright grounds but the, what they found out was because they never published an Eldar Farseer on jet bike but this guy did maybe he owned the rights to it and I think that scared them or not scared them but it made Games Workshop really reconsider their policies and approach and that that's why you see more and more unusual names for things is um, 
yeah, look at this guy. That's what the twin link shuriken catapults look like. So it's a great model. Personally, I like to put cloaks on these guys, and that, that's a conversion that we, we can do for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab an Eldar Farseer Skyrunner and go back to our main page. So let's keep scrolling down. We're not going to get any guys on foot. This is going to be a very mobile army. And <clears throat> uh, so, you know, a Viper, one Viper is actually a really great troubleshooter. So we're going to go ahead and grab a Viper. Why not? And uh, let's keep going. I know there's more stuff down here. Mm. Hold on. Okay, oh, a Crimson Hunter. That is an absolute must. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, the Eldar have a formation where you have three Crimson Hunters. And yeah, that is, it is a great formation. So we're going to add, we're just going to add one to our cart, though, right now. And let's go back to the main page. All right, let's look at everything. So now, with the 12 jet bikes or the 18 jet bikes, we've actually filled up either four or six troops choice slots for this army. And that ain't not bad. Now, let's grab a Wraith Knight. Apparently, they have new rules making them gargantuan creatures. I've actually not played a game since then. And... I, I've heard they're really they're really pretty ridiculous, but it's a great centerpiece model. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. I do believe they're like 300 points or something like that. And now we want to get some wave serpents. And but here's the thing: let's look at the wave serpent kit. Forty-four dollars currently, and so it has basically a a standard. Eldar Grav Tank chassis. By the way, I'm trying to up, get this picture going and it's not cooperating. Oh, it is, actually. It doesn't have a pop-out. Okay, so anyway, so you'll notice that it has this turret. This turret is not very sleek. It's a little clunky. It's pretty hard to put together. It's extremely difficult to magnetize. Uh, and then you have these little energy projector veins down on the front, which also make it that makes it hard to store. And so even though the Wave Serpent has a unique design and is great in the game, I really am not very fond of the shape and utility level of it. So we are not going to use this model. Instead, we're going to come on over to... Oh, I actually didn't open it in a new page. We're going to grab some fire prisms. And what you do with these, a fire prism has a turret. Why is my phone on? Who does that? Hold on, let me turn the ringer on. Off, rather. Mm -hmm. Vibration. Ah, the phone is on vibrate. Ha ha. Okay, so we're going to grab a fire prism, if I can find it. There it is. And we're going to make these into our wave serpents. And here's why. Let's go ahead and open the 360. Here it's opening. Okay, so the turret, it's, you know, I wish I had a top view of this. It's The turret is very sleek. And, oh, just look at the profile of that. Like, it just sweeps down. It looks amazing. And in the front of the turret, there are two points where you can put weapons. So that's where you magnetize on the wave serpent weapons. And then you can also magnetize on the night spinner and fire prism weapons. And it works. It works like a charm. It looks so good. If I remember, I'll put a video of this in the liner notes that shows you how to do this. So we are going to need two of these bad boys. The question is, what, oh, what are we going to put in our fire prisms? So the the army, well, one thing you can do is you can put some, you can put some fire dragons in it. Or, if you're feeling like you're kind of in a bad mood, you can put some wraith guard in it. You give them D sides. But it's a huge investment. People tend to kind of, not kind of, they tend to dance around it. And, by the way, the wraith blades make both the regular wraith guard and the, uh, and the, and the Wraith Blades. 
So you can do all four different options with the same kit. But Games Workshop has started making differently labeled kits, so people aren't confused. And so that's a toughie. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and just get... So if it was a new player, I'd say get your two Wave Serpents and get just two units of Fire Dragons. Or, well, let, let's do one unit of Fire Dragons and one unit of Wraith Guard with a D size. There we go. Okay, so now we've got an HQ, uh, two Elites, four Troops, and um, the one Fast Attack. So let's go ahead and check out. Open link in new tab. Let's do that. So our cart is now at just around $600. If you find an online site or buy them used, it'll be less than this. But this really is a typical buy-in for, for Warhammer 40K. And you wouldn't necessarily, if, if you look at $600 and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so much money, then that's okay. Most people will sort of pick away at it at spending maybe 150 a month or 200 a month or maybe even 300 a month that's actually the typical gamer and if you're assembling and painting them yourself you'll really need that time to to work it up but to hit the table and actually play a game this is this is really a good a good starter army uh, your 12 jet bikes are going to run around uh, 250 300 points let's call them let's call them 300 why not and because you'll have the scatter lasers on them I think that's plus 10 points each so 27 points times 12 uh, that's gonna be about 300 your farseer is gonna run you run you let's say another 150 so we're 450 500 um, 650 950 and uh, with the fire prism and the wraith guard, you're probably looking at maybe 1,250 points, and that that's that's a decent game, guys. That's really decent. Okay, now let let's let's round this out to a mid-range army. So in my mid-range army, I am going to you know the wraith guard. Oh, take a shot. The wraith guard are uh, very very scary. But in the end, what I found is uh, my main opponent, Rich, who plays orcs, he just figured out how to work around them. And they were such a point sink that if he could blow up the Wraith Guard, that was pretty much game. So I would take something that costs a little less points. So I'm going to grab another unit of Fire Dragons. Great. And these guys are, are great. Like you just you move them up. You unload them, they blow something up wretchedly, and fire dragons can really make a nuisance of themselves. They and they're they're super cheap for what they do. And you can just take five regular I would just take all regular guys and drop the Exarch. His upgrades cost so much. I'd keep the fire prisms at two. Wouldn't do anything extra with that. I would keep the Wraith Knight. I would Ooh, for like a 2,000 point army, I would still only run one Crimson Hunter because running three is like, but it, I mean, it's, it's cruel and unusual punishment. So you're going to need to, um, I was just check, checking the time. Sort of figured out if, if you want to, if you want to make that, make that leap. Oh, we definitely need to add two more boxes of Wind Riders, bring our total to 18. Uh, we are going to add a second Farseer, so let's go ahead and add that to cart. And now let's see what new stuff... Oh, well, you do need a Vol's Wrath support battery. And we have just pretty much blown through 1850-2000 by now, just with those few things that we've done. So uh, let's just let, let's go, let's go take a quick look. Uh, Vol's Wrath support bed. The Night Spinners, I think, are great choices for this. I love it. Do you really get three of these for $65? That is, that is fantastic. But to make three multi-part plastic support weapons. And by the way, you do not need to magnetize these. The pinning, the pegging on these is so clever, you really just, you really just don't need it. You'll be able to peg them on. There's like a little rectangular slot right here. And it's just so deep and snug that it just it just works out. So uh, Wraith Guard, Fire Dragon. Okay, I think we've looked at all of these. Uh, let's just take one more quick look through here. 
Autark, no, 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 no. Okay, great. Now, let's go ahead and do our checkout and take a look at where we are. So this is this is a this is a pretty mid-range Eldar army, in my opinion. I've played this a lot. It's it's really good. And uh, so you've got your 18 jet bikes, two Farseers, a Viper, a Crimson Hunter, a Wraith Knight, who's just an absolute bruiser, two Fire Prisms converted to be, oh my gosh, what was I going to say? Converted to be Wave Serpents. Now, you won't have the, egg, the weapons you need out of the kits that you bought. You'll actually need to buy those online or find them at your local game shop, but Eldar kits have tons of heavy weapons in them. So, you know, we, I mean, at one point we had just a whole bin full of Eldar heavy weapons. Uh, oh, and we have three fire dragons, so we only need two. Let's go ahead and adjust that. And uh, we got a wraith guard just as stand-ins, just to play around with. And then your Vol's Wrath, and you're at 818. So you've added a lot of points, but really have not, you know, well, you've gone from, tw I, I bet you're at least at 1850 by now. And just eyeballing it. So now let's make, let's make the next stage up, which would be uh, an Eldar army where you've got extras in it to play lots of different options. And then after that, we're going to do, we're going to do the Mega Army, if we have time. In fact, I'll probably make that into a separate video. So what we're going to do is add another unit of Wraith Guard. We're going to add a War Walker Squadron. Open that as a separate thing. Oh, you are definitely going to get Swooping Hawks. There's a reason these are out of stock, guys. You want probably two units of these. Now, the models look really cool. They've stood the test of time. This is actually the second version of Swooping Hawks they've made. They make them in fine cast now. And that's really good because the metal ones really fall over. So if you get them secondhand, shy away from the metal swooping hawks. You will, you will regret it. They fall over, they break, they're unwieldy, they're hard to assemble. But the fine cast ones hold up really well. Okay, so at getting up to our... So I'd get a two or maybe three units of swooping hawks. I can't get them now. And I am going to grab a, a, a two more Crimson Hunters. Add to cart. So now we have four. I'm going to get another Vol's Wrath support battery just in case I really want to ramp that up. We're going to get our War Walker Squadron. Now, these guys, to make them fully magnetized with every option they can have, you need ten heavy weapons. But they only come with five each. So Eldar have five different weapons and so you can fully magnetize them and that'll give you like good options but it's not fully fully magnetized then you would actually need to purchase more bits or have BTP do your conversions because we, we have extras of all these tons of them in fact and but this is the kit actually where you're gonna get your weapons for your wave servants and uh, it'll it'll work okay uh, let's let's keep going so for our mid-range uh, we are gonna grab another fire prism kit and actually run a Fire Prism Night Spinner. Warp Spiders are amazing, so let's go ahead and open that up and grab some Warp Spiders. You might want to run Dire Avengers in your tank, so we're going to grab two units of Dire Avengers. And we might want to see your council, so let's go ahead and get some Warlock Sky Runners. Oh, and you need a Spirit Seer. That's something I haven't uh, added just yet so let's go ahead and add a spirit seer and I think I think we're good to go with that yeah let's do it so let's add two warp spiders add to cart we're gonna add two units of dire avengers dire avengers went to seven dollars per dire avenger oh that's brutal yep 35 for a box of five that's hardcore man it should not be like that. We'll get four Warlock Skyrunners. We'll get one Spirit Seer. And a Partridge in a Pear Tree. Okay, let's... Hey, let's check out, guys. See see where we are in terms of cost. Yeah, about uh, 1500 And again, this is, this is what you're looking at at this hobby. Anybody that's played Magic, guess what? That's how you're going to end up spending this. You will. I was clean and sober off of magic for like three years 
and then I was like, well, I'll just get some, I'll just get some sample decks for this board game party that I'm going to. And uh, within two weeks, I had spent like 900 bucks on Magic cards, and 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 it's it it's cardboard crack. But there's something deeper, and that's it's also boys and their toys. And this is typically what you'll spend. So this is getting to up to 3,000, 4,000 points. Warp Spiders, Avengers, the Sky... Yeah, this, this is a good army with options in it. All right, and we didn't, we didn't even get over to Forge World, where there's a lot of really amazing stuff for Eldar. And... I, I'm going to do a separate video for Eldar Mega Army and also for Forge World. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. want to remind you that at this current time, I am just, you know, waiting around for emails to show up because I really, really absolutely hammered it and answered, like, I think it was 230 emails, plus all the 40 to 50 that come in every single day so I am I am ready to go we've painted so many Eldar armies uh, you know if I had to guess I'd say we painted at least 25 to 35 Eldar armies and I I've owned at least eight myself and built them up from scratch and it's it's fun fun every time well thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys next time three two one